The 2022 Bizlet Games was home to this year's Dream Mile, which included many talented athletes, including Oliver Hoare, Jake Whiteman, Mohamed Katir, and the hometown hero, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. So far in 2022, Ingebrigtsen is the proud owner of the world's fastest mile, holding a season's best of 3 minutes 49.76 seconds. However, for this race, there was one clear goal in mind, and that was to break the European record of Steve Cram from Great Britain. On July 27th of 1985, Cram achieved a fantastic time of 3 minutes 46.32 seconds, a performance that actually broke the world record at the time, and this finishing time of 3.46 has now stood as the European record for almost 40 years. At the moment, this time places Cram as the fourth fastest miler to ever compete, so with this incredible time as the goal, could Jakob Ingebrigtsen once again make history? Over the opening 400 meters, Ingebrigtsen was placed perfectly behind the front two pacers, and running right behind was Oliver Hoare and Jake Whiteman. Through the opening lap, the lead pacer hit a time of 56.01 seconds, which probably placed Jakob Ingebrigtsen right around 56.5. Through the next 400 meters, the pace continued very strong up front with Jakob Ingebrigtsen right behind the front two pacers. And at this point in the race, the tactic was obvious. Hold the steadiest rhythm possible with the most minimum effort, and then, as the pacers finally drop off, run the fastest final lap that he possibly can. Through 800 meters, the lead pacer clocked a time of 153.30, which placed Ingebrigtsen just a few tenths of a second behind. As the third lap unfolded, it was clear that the front three athletes, Ingebrigtsen, Hoare, and Whiteman, were all on track for a very quick time. And then, with just one and a half laps remaining, Ingebrigtsen now found himself firmly in the lead, and he needed a final 600 meters of around 1 minute and 24 seconds if he was looking to break the record. Coming down the home stretch with just over 400 meters to go, Ingebrigtsen passed through 1200 meters in 249.38. However, Oliver Hoare was still holding the pace very strong, while Jake Whiteman was just starting to fall off. Coming down the back stretch with just over 200 meters remaining, Ingebrigtsen finally put some distance over Oliver Hoare, and at this point, it was clear that he was going to win this race, but could he get the European record of Steve Cram? Down the home stretch, he was absolutely flying, putting everything that he had into this record run. And with a finishing time of 3 minutes 46.46 seconds, he just barely missed the European record by 0.14 seconds. This really was a fantastic record attempt from Jakob Ingebrigtsen, as he stayed very strong and poised throughout this entire race. And even though he just barely missed the record of Steve Cram, he most definitely showcased his middle distance dominance at the moment, as this 3 minute and 46 second mile was a new personal best, a new national record, a new Diamond League meeting record, and it was also the fastest mile run in over two decades. This performance now places Jakob as the 6th fastest mile athlete to ever compete, now only falling behind Daniel Komen, Steve Cram, Nuruddin Morsali, Noah Nguyen, and of course the world record holder himself, Hisham El Garouj. This mile effort was simply amazing, however we do have to give a very special shout out to Oliver Hoare, who just ran a 347.48 mile, which now places him as the 13th fastest miler of all time, and this performance also was fast enough to break his own national record by almost one entire second. Finishing in third was Jake Whiteman in 3 minutes 50.30 seconds, finishing in fourth was Neil Gorley in 352.91, and finishing in fifth was Charles Greven from Luxembourg, who crushed his national record with a time of 3 minutes 53.20 seconds. In total, this race included six new personal bests and three new national records, and leading the way with an incredible time of 3 minutes 46.46 seconds was none other than Jakob Ingebrigtsen from Norway. Given that he was last year's Olympic champion, and now with two consecutive incredible mile attempts, he is clearly going into this year's World Championships as the favorite for the 1500 meters. But he will certainly have incredible competition, especially from Oliver Hoare, so with all of this information in mind, do you think Jakob Ingebrigtsen will win this year's World Championships? And if he does, how fast will he run? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.